Hi, today I feel like doing a look which is more of an evening look or a party look. Um, so something with a bit of colour. And I've got a gorgeous model today, Amber, here in the studio with me. And um, viewers in the UK might recognise her because she was in a really big commercial last year for Match.com, which is where I first saw her. And I remember watching it on TV and thinking, God, that girl's so pretty. And then about six months later, I was uh, booked to do a Vogue shoot. And when I got there, she was the model. So I said, I recognise you. You were in the Match.com commercial. And, um, and then we became friends. And I saw her at the shows. She was modelling in a few of the fashion shows that I did the makeup for. And she was watching my videos then. And she said, I love your videos. And I said, well, maybe one day you could be in one because I'd love to do your makeup for my channel. So um, she's very kindly agreed to, to come here today and let me do her makeup. Um, Amber's also an actress. She's just about to start making her third movie. And her, for modelling, it career is also going amazingly well. She has a Burberry campaign out at the moment. And within the next month, she's going to be launched as the new face of the new Kenzo fragrance. I'm going to start by using Illusion Dombe number 84. I'm going to use this with fingers. So just as a base, really, for the shadow. It's a small amount, just blended. And I find that this shadow does work really well when applied with fingers and applied in quite a light layer. So that's all over the lid and this is going to be a good base as it dries for the powder shadows. And I thought I'd use today this palette by Tom Ford, which is a sort of greeny, blacky, smoky greens I'd say. I'm going to use this green here, the glittery green, using a sheer crease Paula Dorf brush and apply that all over the top of the cream shadow, just patting it into place so this will really set. I'm going to make quite a round eye shape, I think. Okay, so I'm using the same glittery green from the Sahara Haze palette and going all the way along underneath. Next, I'm going to use this quite dark blackish green shade and I'm going to start at the outer edges and put the whole of the outside here with this dark shade. I haven't done any base yet on Amber. He has got perfect skin, <laughs> but also these are going to drop down and I don't want to have a messy base. So I'm going to get all of this dark shadow on and then do foundation afterwards. So I've got it all over the outer edge there and bring it slightly around into the socket as well. And then using the brush I used previously, still has a little bit of the greeny glitter on and blend that all in together, like that. Next I'm going to use the same black shade underneath just to smudge and smoke a little bit more at the outer corners. Now I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner in Granite Ink. I'm going to use it all along the lash line and then I'm now going to blend it again using the black shade of shadow. I'm just going to blend and smudge that in. Using the same liner underneath, I'm going to go, not on the waterline exactly, but along the lash roots, it's just with the grey, so it's not too dark and it's not too solid. It just gives a bit more intensity. A little bit will go onto the waterline, but I'm really just trying to do the edge there. Okay, next I'm going to give Amber's eyelashes a really good curl. My eyelashes can be quite stubborn. I can tell. <laughs> I remember from last time I worked with you. They need a really good curl, don't they? I think I have to go in again. I think I curled them a few times last yeah, time. I think it was three or four times. <laughs> okay. Next, I'm going to use the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara, which I've just recently started using in my kit. I really like this mascara because it's really separating. And also underneath. Next I'm going to try this new product which is the Film Noir Lash Lacquer. When I first saw this I wasn't quite sure of it. And the idea is it sort of looks like a lip gloss really. And you put your normal mascara on, you can either use the hourglass or you can use any mascara. So just 
from the roots to the tips, painting through the lashes and it's just coating each one with almost like a PVC lacquer case which will stay wet look so you can see it sort of starts to really build up the drama of the lashes. I mean it is a little bit time consuming to say the least so I'd say this is more of a special occasion type product. I'm going to clean up all of this fallen shadow and apply base and concealer. I'm going to try this Stila Natural Finish Oil Free Makeup as a base. I want a really sheer coverage because I want Amber's natural skin to completely show through and also I don't want to cover any freckles. Do you like your freckles, Amber? Yeah, I do. Good, I like them as well. I wish I had more. <laughs> They're lovely. So I've finished the base and it's quite a matte finish, this foundation. It's very nice, um, but I want to add a little bit of shimmer. So I'm going to put some Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector all over the high points of Amber's face. Oh, and you've got your eyes watering there. What we'll probably do is I'll leave that for now. I'm not going to bother to patch up just yet. Let that water itself away and then I'll come back at the end and I will retouch this once your eyes have calmed down a bit. A little bit watery there as well. It does happen a lot so don't worry about it. If this happens just carry on with the rest of your makeup. Keep drying it off and I'll show you how to patch it up later. Next I'm going to use this NYC Pink Cheek Glow Mosaic bronzer and blusher. So mixing those together. I'm going to do quite a strong lip colour so we're going to need a little bit on now and then I'll add a little bit more later. I'm going to bring that just onto the cheek bone area softly. That brush feels amazing. Yeah it's the Suki kitten paw brush <laughs> as it's known. I'm just going to apply a little bit of lip balm to Amber's lips. Next I'm going to use this lip liner in Black Tulip by Rimmel. I'm going to use it all over Amber's lips as a stain before we apply lipstick. I'm just going to use some brow powder through the brows and make them quite defined. I'm just going to wet the brush a little bit just for the outer edge. Just do a little bit something a little bit more graphic at the end there, like that. Now to clean up our watery patches from earlier, I'm going to use a little bit of makeup remover on a Q-tip just to get rid of those watery bits. Then I'm going to dip another Q-tip into some translucent powder just to dry the area now that it's stopped watering. And then once it's dry with the powder, you can go back in with the shadow and just patch up. So while I'm patching up those corners, I'm also just softening the edges a lot as well and bringing them down a bit more. And now I'm going to add a little bit of this green glitter. This is by Barry M. So just bringing the green into the inner corner. A little bit of glitter there. Then I'm going to add a little bit of Laura Mercier Stardust, so this is quite shimmery highlighter, just to the high point of the cheeks to add a lovely shimmery glow. I'm going to go back in with this very dark lipstick and just put a little few dabs on the centre of the lips, just for a little bit more drama. But not all over, almost like a little stain over the top. And that is more or less the finished look.